Okay, hello everyone. Dr. Maiden here with another virtual office hours meeting uh, twice in a week. Can you believe it? Um, I'm on a roll again, maybe. This video is one that is a response to the fact that I keep getting a variant of this question by people in the comments on the channel. And so I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video, okay? And this is answering the question, can I pursue a PhD in political science if I didn't major in it as an undergrad? Okay, so like I said, I have had several people asking me some version of this question in the comment section on some of my videos. And so I wanted to put it out there and have a video that answers this question and gives you some things to think about. So the first thing that I'll say, the question is, can I pursue a PhD in political science if I didn't major as an undergrad in political science? And I would say the broadest answer is yes, right? Yes, you can pursue a degree, a, a PhD in political science, even if you didn't major in it as an undergrad. Now, is it the most straightforward way to get into that type of program? No, okay? So here are some things that I want you to think about as you're thinking, is this the right direction for me? Should I be attempting to dive straight into a PhD off of some other program that I've done, okay? So the first thing that I want you to think about is the importance of the narrative. It is all about the narrative and how you spin it for your PhD program, for anything that you would apply for. It's the same if you're gonna do grants and fellowships, what have you. Your narrative is so key for explaining why you as an English major or a philosophy major or a biology major are suddenly interested in a PhD in political science, okay? It will fall to you to make that make sense. And it needs to make sense. You need to have a reason why you're pursuing political science instead of a PhD in biology. So think about things like the courses that you took that are relevant. Think about how your undergrad degree in this other field is preparing you for what you want to do in political science. So maybe what you're interested in doing is doing energy policy and uh, the politics of the environment and climate change politics. And so your undergrad degree in biology, where you were doing marine and coastal conservation, it's like, give me a break. That is so obvious and so clear that you're saying, I have all of this grounded scientific knowledge and experience and internships doing marine and coastal conservation. But what I found, you know, my passion, my fire is the policy. It's about governments creating poor conservation policies. And I am all in 100%. I want to go the policy route. And everything that I have done has built me up for this. And I'm ready. I'm going to be a climate change, environmental policy scholar, right? you're golden, right? You don't even have to think about, that's easy. That's such an easy spin to give, right? So you have to think about for your narrative, what did I do in my past life that has prepared me for doing a degree in political science, okay? The other thing to think about related to that, right? The first, that first thing is just narrative. What is the narrative of my past life and how do I spin it into, I am ready for a political science PhD, okay? The other thing to think about which will come into your narrative is what subfields of the discipline are you pursuing, right? So if you are an English major and you have decided that you suddenly want to be a highly quantitative American politics scholar that's doing survey research and hard quant methods, that might be a harder sell. You're gonna need to explain what about you doing an English major as an undergrad has now so fundamentally twisted that you're like, it's all about American politics for me and quant, right? That's going to be harder. But if you can do something like say, you know, I was a French major in undergrad. I did a study program in Morocco. I learned so much about development and youth and challenges of urban spaces, whatever it is, right? And you can say that what I'm pursuing 
is comparative politics as my first field. And I wanna be looking in the French speaking world, these challenges of youth and development in urban centers, right? Again, it's about framing what your past life was to make sense to what you're wanting to do. But here it's more about you are going to be vocalizing specifically what subfields interest you and why. And so you need to make that connection, right? So if you were a philosophy undergrad and you're gonna do theory first field, no one will bat an eye. No one will think it's strange because the philosophy training that you had is so fundamentally key to you choosing theory as your first field. Again though, if you had philosophy as your undergrad and then you're wanting to do, you know, hardcore quant methods, you might need to be explaining a little bit of how you got from point A to point B, okay? And that's the other thing that I'll leave you with. So the first one was think of your narrative, think of the trajectory, make it make sense. Number two is you're going to be specific about what subfields that you want and you need to make that make sense too. It's not just that I'm ready for political science, it's that I am ready for these particular subfields of political science given my previous training in XYZ. The other thing you need to think about is methods, right? So this is what makes me wary when, uh, potentially wary, if someone who maybe had a degree in English or something just says, I'm going to be a political scientist, right? They are completely different disciplines in terms of the methods that are used, theory, particularly for thinking, are you going to be more of a quantitative scholar? A scholar? Are you going to be a qualitative scholar? Mixed methods. What in your training as an English major has prepared you for PhD level work? And so this might be where you need to be thinking, mm, can I dive straight into a PhD program or should I consider doing a master's in political science first so that I could prove to a PhD institution, I'm committed. I'm committed to this. I've, I've taken methods. I've taken theory courses. I know what political science is as a discipline and I'm ready to be considered an expert in this discipline, right? So that is going to be the hardest kind of hurdle to really make it clear that you're ready for, depending on what that previous major was. Now, if your previous major was something in the social sciences, maybe you were a sociology major, an anthropology major, a psychology major, it's a lot easier to make that jump because you have that social science training. You've had the methods, you've had the theory, you will be playing some catch up to be, let's get you firmly in the frame of political science. You can make that case pretty easy. But if you're gonna be waltzing in off of something like um, a biology degree or an engineering degree or an English degree, something that's not in the social sciences, it's not, gonna, it's not necessarily gonna be harder but you've got to make the case as to why you are ready for PhD level work, right? And in your self-analysis, if you're looking at your transcript, if you're thinking about the future that you want for your career, the type of research questions you want to ask, the type of work you want to do, if you're sitting there looking at, I honestly don't know if my training has prepared me for this. I know that I want this, but I don't know that I'm prepared you really might need to consider something like a stopgap of doing a master's, getting yourself that additional training and expertise, proof that you can do it, and then pursue PhD level work in political science. Okay, so those are just a couple of things to be thinking about as you as you ponder this question. It's a good question um, and it's, it's definitely a worthwhile question. Yes, it can be done. Of course it can be done. It's all about narrative. It's all about how you spin your previous experiences to make it clear that you're ready for this and that it will assist you. The things you have done in your past are worthwhile, almost necessary for you moving forward into this future that you're thinking about for yourself, which is a PhD in political science. Okay, comment down below with any questions that you have. I'm happy to try and chat uh, chat through things in the comments with you. Um, yeah, and uh, happy PhD program applying. <laughs>